Hey everyone, Harold and the Purple Crayon is out in theaters, and it's one of the many children's films vying for your kids' attention this year. So get out your crayons and let's get into it. But first, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more and you will make my day. Thank you so much. All right, so Harold and the Purple Crayon is the story of a storybook character who finds his way into the real world in search of his creator. And Harold is actually played by Zachary Levy, who is joined by his two trusty sidekicks, Moose and Porcupine. And they soon find themselves up against a villain who is out to steal Harold's crayon and make his own creations come to life. With the help of his new 12-year-old friend, Mel, and his mom, Terry, Harold has a chance to get back his crayon and even save the world along the way. All right, so in a summer season filled with great new films like If, as well as sequels like Despicable Me and Bombs like Garfield, I wasn't really sure what to expect with Harold and the Purple Crayon. The plot, it isn't all that unique, and actually the story itself is also pretty simple in nature, but the writing and the directing and the acting were all really good. However, it was the goofiness of Zachary Levy, who plays Harold, and the absolute joy that he brought to the screen that makes this film stand out. His two sidekicks are played by Lil Rel Howery and Tanya Reynolds, who do a really nice job of bringing Moose and Porcupine to life, but in these human bodies that they find themselves in while they're in the real world. At times, they are actually a little bit over the top, but in a way that's zany enough to actually work, especially for younger audiences. And this film really is made for kids. Benjamin Batani, who plays Mel, is still really new to acting. He plays the, the, young, the young actor, the young kid that is Harold's friend. And it always is just a little bit worrisome when you get such a new actor at such a young age for a big film like this but you know what he actually does a really good job with it and I would guess that we're going to see more of him in the future he he was just really nice in the role of Mel just fit it really well however the standout in the movie really is Zoe Deschanel who is just charming as Mel's mother She's a great actress and she just kind of glows in this role. She is the kind of person that I would want as a mom or if I was going to be a mom, I'd want to be like she is in this film. And there are actually two things that this film does exceptionally well. First, the movie just oozes with creativity. Every kid with a pack of crayons has imagined drawing things and bringing them to life. And Harold, he just taps into that spirit of imagination and makes you remember what it was like to see the world through a child's eye and to just draw the world around you. And if you were like me, you drew it on everything, including the walls, and then you would get in trouble. But don't draw on walls. Anyways, everything is new and wonderful to Harold. And it's just amazing. He just has this sense of adventure and joy that he brings to life. And there's also this sense of trust and honesty that he carries with him into the real world that makes him feel like a breath of fresh air compared to the absolute glut of gloomy and brooding characters to hit the movies lately. He brings a sense of joy to the film. And that's one of the things that I just appreciated most. The second thing that Harold and the Purple Crayon does really well is how it handles the final battle with Harold's victory over the villain. And yes, I'm just going to say the villain because I don't want to spoil things. The villain in this film isn't a bad human being. He's just lonely and underappreciated or unappreciated. 
and his personality is just a little rough and it kind of makes it difficult to like him or want to hang out with him. However, you still can't help but to feel sympathetic for him because we all know people just like this guy. So when he goes bad and Harold has to make a choice about how to deal with him, his punishment fits the crime in a way that is both kind and kind of hilarious while also being eh, just a little bit unfortunate for the guy. The result is that Harold and the Purple Crayon is one of the best children's movies to come out so far this year. It's fun and funny, even if all the jokes don't quite land, while also being full of exciting antics that I am sure kids will absolutely love. Plus, the way Harold struggles with the goal of finding his father in the real world is compelling. And I really appreciated that all of his strange new experiences don't change his sweet and innocent outlook on life. Even better, because of how they handle the villain in the end, we actually are able to feel good about the film as a whole. It was the first time in a long time that I walked out of a movie theater feeling actually kind of joyful. I mean, I've enjoyed a lot of films this year, but I actually had this sense of joy as I was leaving the theater. I mean, and I know when you're a movie critic, you're not supposed to be like, hey, it left me feeling joyful because that feels very like surface level. But honestly, when you go to a film, part of the reason you go is for the experience and the feelings that it makes you feel when you're in there. And if a movie like this can leave you feeling a little bit happier and like the world is a little bit better when you leave it, then I'm going to take that as a win. I think it's a great film for kids. And yeah, if you have kids, if you have grandkids, if you're just babysitting anything, I think this is a great film to take kids to. It's something fun to do. This is a film that was made for kids and even clearly childish adults like me. So while young girls will absolutely like it, I'm sure they will like it because it's just a lot of fun. I think this is a very positive film for young boys who need a little magic in their lives. So Harold and the Purple Crayon, have you seen it? And if you did, what did you think about it? Do you have any other kids movies that you really enjoyed this summer? And you know what? I am a giant child at heart and I love going to the movies. So I definitely want to hear your recommendations. So drop me a comment and share some of your favorites because I want to hear what you have to say. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. And remember to give this review a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because there are definitely more coming. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.